Alabama Hills is absolutely packed full of natural rock arches. One of its most famous arches is Mobius Arch. There is a hike to get to this arch, but it's less than three quarters of a mile and it's not too strenuous. The trailhead for the Mobius Arch Loop is usually pretty easy to find, but if you want to be 100% sure that you find it, you can get the GPS coordinates to the trailhead at the link below. This trail is pretty straightforward with the exception of two spots. They're not that difficult, but if you aren't paying attention, you might miss them. Don't worry, we're going to cover them over the course of this video. The first spot is right here. The trail marker almost looks like it wants you to go straight, but you need to make a left. Even though the name of the trail would make you believe that there's only one arch, there's actually three. There is also Heart Arch and Lathe Arch. You're actually going almost directly under Heart Arch at this point of the trail, but it's hard to see it. The best viewpoint for Heart Arch, in our opinion, is actually from Mobius Arch. Even though this trail is super short, we enjoy taking our time and enjoying the gorgeous views of Mount Whitney and the Eastern Sierra Mountain Range. This brings us to the second, somewhat confusing part of the trail. When you get to this sandy wash, the trail gets just a little bit faint. We didn't exactly know what to do the first time, but you just need to scramble up this hillside. And here you are at Mobius Arch. One of the most iconic views of this arch comes when you climb up to it. If you stand at the perfect angle, you can actually frame Mount Whitney through the window of the arch. This is one of the higher points on the trail, so climbing up here will give you a nice sweeping panoramic view of your surroundings, as well as a nice view of Heart Arch off in the distance. The last arch on this list is Lathe Arch. It can be a little tricky to find and it took us a few tries, but if you're doing the trail backwards, it's actually a lot easier to see. Overall, this trail is fun, has a lot to see, and doesn't take up a lot of time if you're just passing through. After Lathe Arch, it's a simple downhill and then back uphill scramble back to the parking lot. What is your all-time favorite rock arch? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoy our adventures, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified when we make new videos. Check us out on Instagram at thatadventurelife underscore official. And for other awesome things to do in Alabama Hills and the surrounding area, head on over to thatadventurelife.com.